How you doing? Good, man. How are you? I'm good. Um, I guess just let's get kind of get me up to speed with how your fall's going. Uh, you know, linebacker position, what you're seeing really, you know, with, with Harold there with you, and kind of how that's working out early in camp. Uh, I think I think it's going good. You know, we we progressing a lot, like over the over the little off season, the summer, and stuff like that. The whole room just kind of like meshed together and stuff like that. Got a feel for each other. Really, the whole defense got a, like kind of a feel for each other, and we get more comfortable with each other, communicating more, you know. And then on like just the physical side, just repping hands, everything, just being physical and stuff like that. Going through, taking the drill work to the team periods and everything like that. So everything's going good. Certainly early on in the uh, practices that we were saw on the inside, the offense was getting the better of the defense. It looked like the defense really stepped up yesterday, had one of their best practices. Do you feel like the competition is there where you guys want it to be? Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's a lot of back and forth going. Like defense might have a day, offense might have a day. You know, we trying to compete every day and both sides of the ball trying to get the best of the other side every day. So I think, I think it's, it's good competition going on right now. So just overall, that group with Penn and some of the other guys, how do you think that's coming along as far as how you guys are flying to the ball and, and playing that position? Uh, I think it's coming along good. You know, uh, I think everybody's progressing. Like Greg, Greg's looking like a different player from la from last year. Perk's still progressing. I'm, I'm still progressing. We're all just getting better, even the younger guys. Uh, and Wes, Wes still progressing, the younger guys too. Everybody getting real good work, so I think we just push each other every day, no matter no matter if you're a freshman or a senior. So you came here because you wanted to win big things, win a championship. You have excitement so far. What you're seeing in camp, what you're seeing top to bottom with this team and the coaching staff and everything. Yeah, for sure, a lot of excitement. I think I think we could do some pretty great things. You know, on the offensive side of the ball, they look good and. Every day, the defense is out there trying to trying to take over them. So I think like just the competition going against like some of the best of the best, and them two going against us, I think it's going to prepare both sides of the ball for for something big. What do you see in that defensive front? Uh, having Mason back obviously makes a difference. But what, what do you see as far as the inside with those guys? Yeah, those, they they game changers. You know, uh, Mason Wingo. You know, really really all across the line, Mason Wingo. Uh, Savion, Ovi, Tank, you, we got we got pieces everywhere. It's just crazy, you know. So it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to fun to play behind and fun to watch. So how much do they help your game? Uh, they they help it a lot, you know, because they they force it. So the old linemen like feel like they got they got to double them and stay on the doubles and stuff like that. So it opens up a lot of things for us in the back end and stuff like that. And then sometimes we might shoot a gap to take the pressure off of them. So. It, it helps out a lot. Playing for Coach House with the NFL background, what have you learned from him so far? Uh, I, I learned a lot of things. Like he's a he's a smart coach. I learned a lot of things, like mentally, and then even technique wise, just just like little little details that are like change your position on the field and stuff like that. So it it's been fun. It's been fun. It's been crazy. Yeah. Has the climate been a big adjustment for you? Uh, it's, it's definitely hot out there, you know, but uh, I, I take my, like, my recovery and my hydration and eating seriously, so I think, I think that's been helping me a lot. I think if I wasn't doing that, then it would probably be way, a way bigger problem, but it's, it's definitely hot out there, and I'm taking care of myself. Another guy that came from up north, uh, Deuce Chestnut, I think he was kind of struggling with the heat a little bit, but yesterday... He made a lot of pass breakups. Look like he's he's caught on. Yeah, he he struggled probably like the first couple of days with the heat, but he's been having some good days. So he's been he's been putting on the show, so he's he looking good for sure. Putting off uh, up north. What are you seeing in uh, those tight ends as far as how difficult are they to cover? I know some of them are freshmen, obviously, but Mason, I'm sure, it gives you all a challenge, and obviously, can be a weapon on the offensive side of the ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's he's a. Uh, they got a good room. Mason, he he a big, bigger tight end. He could he could run, stuff like that. Uh, I covered him a couple of times. You know, he is definitely it's definitely competition. You know, so I think I make him better, and he make me better. So, and on a on a blocking end too, I think I think he good.
Is there someone to watch for that heading into fall camp, maybe people weren't really eyeing them, but now kind of has stood out through, what, six practices so far, defensively or offensively? Um, defensively, I think, I think we just got guys all around making plays. Like, you come into the unit, man, you seeing a bunch of different people making plays. So I, I don't think I could really pinpoint one specific person just because I think we all put in work. Like, I don't think it's nobody that's just out there just to be out there. I think everybody, whenever they get their shot, they they going full speed and they making the best of it and they making plays and stuff like that. So I think... I think just the whole defense for real, for real. We'll get two more again. What, what, what's the mindset of the team right now? You kind of seeing what you all have, how good you all can be. Do you feel like it's it's kind of coming together and everybody's understanding what it's going to take to, to get you where you need to go? Yeah, I think right now, like, we all just, you know, focusing each individually so that progressing individually so that as camp goes on and we get closer to the games and stuff like that, everything comes together. Like. You do your part, man next to you do their part. At some point, it's all going to come together. So I think we just focus on like the, the little stuff right now, the individual piece, and then that's going to stack on top of each other to make something bigger. So you've been in Baton Rouge about six months. What, what do you like about Louisiana so far? What have you learned down here? Uh, it's, it's some good food down here, for sure. It's some good food down here. I'll be having to, I'll be having to watch myself sometimes. Can't, can't gain too much weight, but uh, I'll, I'll probably say best part, probably the food, yeah. What's your favorite thing you've had? Uh, or favorite place? Favorite place? I'll probably say the the charbroiled oysters from uh, Drago's. That, that'd been my favorite thing so far. Pats or Tony's? Was it Tony's or something? Uh, I really choose neither. I would, yeah, I, I'd rather go to like a, like a hole in the wall or something. They got the best cheese steaks for real. You miss those? Yeah, I do. <laughs>